What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. I'm super duper excited today because we are going to do a full cost breakdown of this $1 million project. Every house right here was built for the same price because we were building them all together. We used all the same stuff and I'm excited to share that number with you. We're gonna break it down from the permits to the foundations, to the lumber, to absolutely everything, labor and material, everything we spent to the dollar and we are gonna tell you what that cost us and how much we sold them for. It was a $1 million project once we sold them, but obviously we had to make some money. We're gonna head over to another three that we're building and we're gonna break it down there for you. Alrighty y'all, so we are over here where we're building three more houses duplicated from what y'all just saw. So if we turn the camera that way, you can see there's one, two, three, and then right over here we've got one, two, and three. We're excited to get this project done. You can see that these two are probably a little more than halfway done, but right now that's enough of that. I wanna to talk to you about the pricing. I wanna to talk to you about the cost breakdown. It takes a lot of time to go into things, get quotes, get labor, material, different type of pricing, and then finally get it going. So that's why this video is gonna be something that helps you. If you are looking to build a house, you can see what it will most likely cost you and if you get a builder, if you do it yourself, things like that. So anyways, I'm gonna start from literally the land. So we paid 35,000 per lot over there to get the land. A lot of people around the world say that's super cheap. They're like, man, how are you getting an entire plot of land for $35,000? Well, guess what? By the grace of God, that's how. So we got that piece of dirt for $35,000. So per lot in total, every lot cost $35,000. Beyond that, we got our permits for $1,438 per property. And this video will be per house. So you can just multiply it by three at the end if you wanna know the full total. But right now I'm just going one house at a time. So $1,438 for permits and then going into insurance. So you've got to have something called builder's risk, which cost us $756 to insure that entire build. And then moving on, we are going into lot cleaning, prep and maintenance during construction. So just kind of moving stuff around, getting diesel for bobcats, excavators, making sure that everything's clean. We had about $1,000 budgeted for that. The erosion control was $350. So that silt fence that you see around the property, $350 isn't that bad. Me and Paul, we got a trencher. We went out and did it. Bought the silt fence at Home Depot, got it knocked out. And then guess what? We were able to put it up for 350 bucks. Not too bad. And then we move on to the construction drive. That was about $1,000 for a truckload of that one to two inch gravel, that thick stuff that you see. We can actually show you right here, a lot thicker, not the half inch stuff we use when we're doing the final stuff before we pour slabs. That cost us about $1,000 right there. And then any of the site prep excavation, we had about $1,000 in there as well. So just kind of cutting down anything, moving the dirt out because we were able to use the dirt later, but you still got to pay for the machinery diesel and all that kind of stuff. Moving on, we went into the footer slash foundation layout. So so we had the surveyors come out that cost $250 because they were able to do all three at once. So that really turned out well, $250 there. We did a termite treatment in the slab. That was $167. They came and sprayed all the gravel and that cost $167 per house. We are going into the French drains with the gravel backfill that we installed. That was $250 as well. So just moving forward, now we're at foundation gravel fill. We paid about $3,000 per house for each entire foundation. So the monolithic slabs needed a certain amount of gravel backfill. So we spent about $3,000 per house putting that back in. The concrete slab prep and pour with a pump was $4,195. And that was for the labor and everything. And then getting the actual concrete out there, the material that was about $5,353. So in total right there, we were looking at about $9,500, give or take per house. And then moving on, we're jumping into the framing material. So all the framing material that we needed for the entire house cost us $15,421. That's a pretty penny right there. But guess what? You got a two-story house, open web trusses. So all that material cost us $15,421. Then moving on, we go into the framing labor. That cost us $12,850 to get that entire house completely framed up. 
So the roofing material cost us $2,177, and that was for the shingles and the Omni Roll and everything. The labor was $2,262, and then that decorative roof that you saw on the front was another $650 labor and material. And then moving on, we are going into the window package. All of the windows cost us $2,300, and the framing labor included all of the install, so that just kind of worked together right there. And then going on into the exterior doors for the backslash and the front door that was one thousand three hundred thirty three dollars and then going for the garage door that was one thousand six hundred and twenty dollars moving on we have the electrical rough-in which was six thousand six hundred dollars and then we went on to the plumbing rough-in which was four thousand five hundred fifty seven dollars and then from plumbing we went on to hvac which was six thousand five hundred dollars for the hvac rough-in Moving on, we just jumped into the mailboxes. Those were about $250 a piece with our labor included, also the material there. We added another line item for gravel just because we were using gravel absolutely everywhere. The entire yard was covered with gravel, so we added another $1,000 there. The exterior concrete material, all driveways and patios, ended up costing us $3,300. So that's the front driveway, the little side piece that you saw where the dumpsters can go, and then the back patio. And then Moving on to the concrete prep and labor, that was another $3,450 for the driveways and that back patio right there. Then moving on to the siding and the soffit material, that cost us $5,000 material alone. And then the siding labor cost us $5,182 to get all of that vinyl siding knocked out. And then moving on from all of the siding, we went on to the gutters, which cost us $1,357. And then we used a little bit of masonry material to get the stucco around the sides of the houses, which cost us another, I'd say, say we've got it here for a hundred bucks because we were able to use two or three bags for all three houses and got it knocked out pretty darn quick and then moving on from that the rough grading we added another thousand dollars just using the machinery using all the dirt around that we had that cost us about a thousand dollars right there and then going on from there the final grade uh, we kind of just had all the dirt so you can just go back and forth and say we were just including that in the rough grade at that point. And then moving on to landscaping, that cost $3,200 labor and material. We didn't have too many plants and stuff like that. So $3,200 per house with sod, with plants, with mulch, with that labor right there as well. The dumpsters cost us $3,000. We had quite a bit of trash that we needed to haul off the property. So we got that done and just were able to split that between the three houses. And then moving on to the utilities, they cost about seven hundred fifty dollars whether that was you know hooking something up or whether that was paying for the utilities for the temp pole or whatever that might have been and then the temporary outhouse so the porter john that cost us eight hundred dollars to have on site for as long as we did then we actually had to uh, tap into the road and get down because we had to cut into that go low um, it was about 10 or 12 feet down we ended up splitting that cost which is about $2,500 usually if there's a sewer lateral that was previously installed you can just tap into that really cheap um, whatever it costs you to dig but we did have to go all the way down get a company to come out shore the sides as you can see in these videos um, that does cost a little bit more money because you want to be safe and get all that knocked out moving on to all the rebar whether it was wire uh, mesh anything like that or the vapor barriers we ended up spending about another thousand two hundred fifty dollars on that stuff so anything that you see going into the concrete slabs anything that you see going into the driveways or the patio anything like that that was one thousand two hundred fifty dollars and so far we are at a total of one hundred seven thousand and one hundred sixty eight dollars all right now that we are done with most of the exterior stuff we're going to jump inside the house and tell you what the pricing was going through there we'll start with the insulation that was three thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars for all of the insulation you saw around the walls and the blow-in in the attic then moving on from that we're going to go on to the fireplace that we got that was 875 dollars with install and we just got that online but we really did like how that looked then moving on to the sheetrock or the drywall material that cost three thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars and then the labor for the sheetrock or drywall cost four thousand three hundred dollars moving on from the sheetrock we're going to talk about priming and painting the interior that cost us 
$5,000. And then the trim and the interior doors, just the material cost us $7,400. And then the labor on the interior doors and trims cost us $5,000. So things do start adding up once you jump inside that house. But guess what? If you want to build a house, you got to pay to play. Moving on, we're going to talk about the epoxy that we used on the garage floor. That cost us $500. That was just the kit we bought from Home Depot. And then the painters were able to come in and do that for us. And then going into the LVP labor and material, that cost us $4,800. And then moving on to the tile labor and material, that cost us $3,783. Then let's jump into the cabinets. This is gonna be one of your highest expenses in the house. The cabinets cost us $11,000. And then moving on from that, you got the countertops as well. So that was $4,450. And then the electrical fixtures cost us $1,250. That's just for the lights themselves the can lights that we were using and things like that. And then moving on to the plumbing fixtures, that was $1,200. So all the vanity faucets that you see, the kitchen sink, all that different stuff, that cost us $1,200. Then going to the electrical trim out, so coming in, getting everything looking really nice, that cost $4,500. And then the plumbing trim out, when they came and brought the toilets, the water heater and everything like that, that cost $4,558. And then the HVAC trim out was $6,000. $6,600. Moving on from that, we got the hardware and accessories. So any of the door handles, the wire shelving in the closets, that cost us $1,900. And then the shower glass door cost us $1,415. Moving on from that, the appliances, because we do supply appliances in all of our houses that we sell, they cost us $3,750. The plans that we bought actually cost us $1,514, but we were able to split that amongst all three houses, which only cost us $504 for one house, but you would have to probably pay about $1,200 to $1,500 per house if you're gonna be buying new plans. The interest that we paid while we were building the houses was $4,800 per house as well. Then we had interior design services that we used. That was $1,500. Then any of our employees on site, things like that, that we were distributing, whether we're doing all kinds of stuff on site, whether it was meeting with labor and material guys, whatever it was, it doesn't matter. That cost another $12,250. And then our heavy equipment rentals before we were actually able to buy anything or whether it was diesel and anything like that that we had to maintain, that was another $2,000. So this total brings us to roughly $243,448. So this is like the bare minimum. Nobody's getting paid to actually manage the project, anything like that, like a builder or project manager. Then if you want to add a 15% profit to a builder, that's going to be about $36,517 right there. And then another 5% for overhead. So whether it's running your business, your trucks, your insurance for your trucks, all kinds of different insurances that you have to have on employees, general liability, workers comp, whatever it is. That was another $12,172. So that brings our entire total to $292,137. That is, if you want to get a builder to build your house, if you want to do all these different things, you can do them yourself. But guess what? It may cost you more in the long run. We were actually able to sell most of these houses for $350,000 on the market. We did offer a bit of seller credits to help the buyers out with the high mortgage rates and everything like that. The interest rates are just super high right now, what we're used to at least. And we were able to help the buyers, you know, buy it down a little bit or whatever it was. And the range of the houses were anywhere from $340,000 to $300,000. 350,000. So it turned out really great for us to be able to hit that $1 million mark, make some good profits, and then turn around and come over here to build three more. So a lot of good stuff happening. That's the cost breakdown. A lot of people ask for these. Sometimes it's really hard to finally get those final numbers in place and just do all these different things. But right now we are excited to be here at this property on these three different lots, building three more houses. And we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go do it again somewhere else. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Let me know what you think of these prices. Are they outrageous or are they right on par with what you think is going on in the market? But without further ado, smile more, worry less, and stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.